This tutorial will show how easy it can be to adjust and save different layouts in the all-new Image Pro Premiere 9.1 and higher. This new version has added features that give every user more flexibility in how they display the software interface and how they interact with it. In many cases when working with an image analysis application, you may only be using a handful of the features available in the interface. So for this reason, Image Pro Premiere allows you to hide the features that you're not using to create a more streamlined workflow. This makes it easier for you and any other users to access the tools you need. First, let's demonstrate how to hide or display any of the ribbon tabs in the application. These tabs give you access to all of the image processing and measurement tools in the software. Let's say, for example, that you didn't need the custom tab. You could simply right click on the tab and see all the tabs available to either show or hide. I can click the bottom, custom, and then it removes the tab from the interface. Next, let's demonstrate how to hide some of the groups that are available. Groups are the collections of each of the tools available in each of the tabs. Let's go to the measure tab and let's streamline some of our workflow for creating a really simple measurement tab. In this example, let's say we're going to be measuring with point-to-point -point manual measurement tools. And they exist on the measurement tab here and we want to free up some of the space in the tab so not to distract or confuse. We could easily accomplish this by finding a blank region at the end of the ribbon and right clicking to display the list of all the groups available. I can then choose the groups that I want to either show or hide. In this case I may not need the colocalization group, the two-dimensional object and intensity tracking group, or the line profile group also known as caliper. You can see that when we hide these groups, the ribbon is cleared, but if I right click, the options are always still available for me to choose at a later time. Now, another modification of the interface is the placement of the dialogues. We see that these dialogues are located on each edge of the interface. By simply clicking with my left mouse and dragging, I can remove this dialog from the edge. When I do this, arrows will show up on the interface allowing me to place this dialog in any location I desire. I'm going to move my image strip to the bottom and I'm going to resize it and my images will adjust accordingly. I'm also going to set up a few other dialogs so that this is perfect for me. I'm going to move my image histogram to the left hand side. I'm going to open my data table and move it to the right hand side. and I'm also going to open the local zoom in the image tab and have that located on the left hand side. If at any time any of the dialogues are in my way I can simply pin them to the side. There's a button called auto hide on each dialogue that when clicked hides my dialogue on the edge of the interface. By simply mousing over I can visualize all the data in this dialog and removing my mouse it can hide again. I'm going to bring back my measurement table by simply clicking the button once more and then I'm going to save this layout. The new feature of being able to save layouts is located in the view tab and under the tools drop down. I'm going to choose the bottom option of save this layout and I'll be prompted to save this with my own custom name. I'm going to call this Thickness Measurement Layout. And you can see that the file type is a dot layout extension. This makes it easier when you need to find it at a later time. Once I've saved my layout in the default Image for Premiere 9.1 Configurations folder, I can then see my layout in the Tools Load Layout dropdown. And here I have my Thickness Measurement Layout. If I ever wanted to go back to the default, I can simply choose Default. And all of my dialogues will go right back to the way they were originally. By choosing the drop down and loading my layout that I just created, I can go back to my useful layout. It's important to note that what I've saved is the removal of my tab, the custom tab. I've moved my image histogram and my local zoom to the left hand side. I've docked my image strip and its size to the bottom and I've moved my measurement table to the right hand side. Now if I go to my measure tab I can also see that I have less groups than I had before 
to make a more streamlined interface. This feature is very useful for single users needing to set up multiple layouts based upon the task at hand, but also for administrators who would be setting up multiple workstations with users that need to have identical layouts. You'd want to go to the View tab, Tools, and go to Load Layout to load in the file that you've previously saved. This will appear in the drop-down when it's loaded into the ImagePro Premier 9.1 Configuration Files folder. If I ever decide that I need to reset all of the tools back to the factory settings, we have a Reset Tools Layout option right in the drop-down. Now let's see if this is going to work out for me. I'll go to my Measure tab and I'll draw my two lines. And then I'll choose Select All. And I'll make a relative measurement between the two lines. And that made my thickness measurement really easy to use. If you have any further questions about this or any other tools, please contact your media cybernetics reseller or local representative.